Welcome back. Right now we're going to focus on hope for prostate cancer. There's a new clinical trial, also research that has come out recently that will help individuals who have prostate cancer. Joining us now is Dr. Oliver Sarto, as well as Evan, who is a clinical trial participant. Really grateful that they're both with us today. Dr. Sarto, let's start with you. Tell me more about these updates, this clinical trial, and this overall hope for individuals who have prostate cancer. So first of all, let's describe what it is. The medication is called Pluvicto. And by the way, if you want to find out more about it, you can go to Pluvicto.com. And it's for advanced prostate cancer patients, patients who have metastatic disease and have already failed hormones, novel hormones and chemotherapy. So it's for advanced prostate cancer. And then there's something special. It's called PSMA PET positivity. In order to be eligible for this particular treatment, you have to have a positive PSMA PET and prostate specific membrane antigen or PSMA is actually what is the target for this molecularly targeted radiation that prolongs survival. The important news is this was just FDA approved about two weeks ago, meaning it'll now be rolling out across the United States and hopefully be available for eligible men uh, throughout the United States in the very near future. Dr. Sark, how will these advancements specifically help patients who have prostate cancer? Well, you know, we know a couple of things, and this is straight from the FDA, so I can promise you that it's totally valid. Number one is patients can live longer, and it can shrink their tumors. And it can do so, of course, anything can have some side effects, but these side effects uh, are relatively small for those in advanced disease. And I'll make, make mention of some things like fatigue, dry mouth, uh, some GI side effects, nausea, maybe low platelets, anemia. Uh, but in general, I'm going to say that the ability to live longer with a therapy is a very important advance for these type of individuals. Dr. Sarto, how does it factor in the treatment for prostate cancer? Well, when we look at treatments for prostate cancer, we typically have things like the hormonal therapies, we have novel hormones, we have chemotherapies. Now we have this form of intravenous radiation and it's given, by the way, one short injection, typically 15 or 30 seconds, and it's given one time every six weeks for a total of up to six injections. And I'll simply say that this adds to our armamentarium. Now we have more tools in the fight, and that's what we want, more tools in the fight for people with advanced cancer. And Van, thank you also for joining us today. Tell me more about your participation in this clinical trial. Well, and my story is, is that I was diagnosed. I don't have a tumor. I, I had surgery in 2007 to remove my tumor. I went eight years cancer-free, and then the cancer reappeared and it metastasized itself to my, my whole body in the bones. And I had metastasized cancer, prostate cancer in my bones. Went through several series of chemo treatments with oncologists, and uh, and and I got got to one oncologist when they exhausted whatever was available to treat me with. They referred me to Dr. Sauter, who was running um, clinical trials and clinical studies. And when I met Dr. Sauter, he immediately put me into his clinical study program, which was running parallel to the clinical trial. And uh, and when the drug became available. He uh, asked me if I wanted to uh, try it. I said, certainly, and he put me on it and, and it worked. And, uh, and, and, and I have hope for definitely living longer. Van, do you have any advice for individuals who may have been recently diagnosed with prostate cancer or maybe feeling a little hopeless in the middle of their treatment? When you look back to that time when you were first diagnosed to maybe some low points in your treatment, what would you tell them? What advice do you have? Very, very excellent question, and and that's part of my story. I, my story is if you if you get diagnosed with cancer, don't be in denial about it, and and uh, seek the advice of a doctor, and follow your doctor's instructions, and stay positive, stay upbeat. Build your support group through your family and your friends and, and what have you. And, 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 and 
rely on prayer. I mean, you got to keep a positive attitude because if you get, let yourself get down about it, the body is not going to be able to process whatever's being done to help, you know, uh, uh, eliminate the cancer. So stand positive. Don't be in denial. Fi follow the instructions of the doctor. Don't get, get caught up on the wrong reasons why you don't want to treat the cancer, get rid of it because it's prostate cancer. And, it, and it's a very vital function for men and men usually make the wrong decision, you know, about it. And, and I just cur encourage men to do the right thing, follow your doctor's instructions because they know better than you do. And, uh, and with this new medicine, I, 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 I'm hopeful that a lot of people can, will be able to receive this and, and, uh, and it'll help them, it'll help them uh, feel better. Drive that PSA number down. Well, that's great advice for anyone that struggles with any type of cancer. Thank you, Van, for sharing that with us. Dr. Sarto, where can we get more information? Provicto.com is a terrific website. Uh, and that information, by the way, has, has gone through the, the FDA. It covers all the information related to administration, side effects, uh, the indications for it. I mentioned this PSMA PET positive. Uh, metastatic disease has gone through multiple hormonal therapies and chemotherapy. And so I think Plavicto.com is a great way to get more information. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Sarto and Van, for joining us today. Really appreciate this important in-depth discussion about prostate cancer, this clinical trial. And Van, very grateful that you have hope that you're doing well and thankful for your advice. We'll be back with more here on Mountain Connections right after this. <music>